Hi, my name is Robert Shelley with Shelley Law, and my law firm assists physician assistants with employment contract issues. Today, I'm going to talk about what is a 1099 physician assistant. So, uh, if you are an employee for a private practice, hospital, uh, you will receive a W-2 at the end of the year, and then you will have taxes withheld from the compensation that you receive from that employer. Uh, whereas if you're working as an independent contractor, you'll receive a 1099 at the end of the year and no taxes will be withheld at all from your compensation. So you will be responsible for paying for those taxes either on a quarterly or, or annual basis, depending upon how you want to do it. So if you are thinking of becoming an independent contractor, Maybe you're going to work, you know, part time. Um, maybe you're in, you know, orthopedics or surgery or something like that. And uh, physicians ask you to assist, you know, maybe one or two times a month. Uh, they're not going to classify you as an employee. More than likely, you'll be an independent contractor, um, just because they're not going to provide all of the benefits. I mean, the biggest difference between working as a W two versus ten ninety nine is the benefits offered when you're an employee. So as an employee, you're gonna get health, vision, dental, disability, life, retirement, paid time off. They're gonna pay for your continuing education, your license, DEA registration, uh, you know, all of the things that are needed to practice safely and effectively. As an employee, they're gonna pay for all of that. When you work as an independent contractor, uh, and in 1099, you're going to be responsible for all of those things. Now, this doesn't mean that you, you can't deduct most of those expenses, but you need to set it up properly. So most PAs, if they're going to work as an independent contractor, are going to create an LLC, and then they're going to get a uh, you know, tax ID number and a bank account in the state that they're working. And then they're going to put all of the compensation expenses through that account so that they can be tracked appropriately. And then at the end of the year, you can use all of those expenses as tax deductions, you know, for your LLC. I would suggest meeting with an accountant prior to taking on any kind of independent contractor position to set things up appropriately. And once you set it up, you're good to go in the future as well. It's not like you need to do it every single time. So. Uh, I, I would suggest that you absolutely do that prior to taking any kind of independent contractor job. So the things you can ultimately deduct are essentially all the things that I went over with. So licensure, DEA, travel, car expenses, um, you know, malpractice insurance, all of that stuff you can deduct from your compensation. Now, one thing to think about, if you're working for, uh, you know, let's just say a physician practice, uh, employment taxes usually cost somewhere between 10 to 12%. Uh, additionally, if they're paying you as an independent contractor, they're saving on offering you any of those benefits too. So if they're offering you the exact same compensation as an independent contractor versus maybe some of their employees, that's not really fair. They're going to be saving somewhere between like 10 to 20% on the total cost by classifying you as an independent contractor. So there is some room for negotiation as far as, uh, you know, if you're working let's say on an hourly rate, which most, most people would as an independent contractor, you, could, you should ask for a little bit more to kind of offset the savings that the employer is gonna receive by classifying you as an independent contractor. I'd say anywhere between, you know, five to 15% increase on the hourly rate would be considered, or at least I would consider a reasonable amount. They're still gonna come out ahead in the end as far as compensation and tax wise. So passing a little bit of that onto the PA just makes sense. So that's what a 1099 independent contractor physician assistant is. Uh, if you have any questions about your employment agreement, independent contractor agreement, feel free to call my firm at the phone number listed below in the description, uh, or you can reach us through our website, ShellyLaw.com. Uh, we release videos every single day, so if you thought this video was helpful, please like, subscribe to the channel, and I appreciate you watching the video. Thanks.